Hello, my name is Joshua Astley and I'm a second year PhD candidate based at the Polaris Lung Imaging Centre at the University of Sheffield. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the development and evaluation of a hybrid model and deep learning based framework for functional lung image synthesis of hyperpolarized gas MRI from non-contrast multi-inflation CT. So what is hyperpolarized gas MRI? Is a functional imaging modality that depicts regional lung ventilation with exquisite spatial resolution within a single breath. Here we can see some examples of hyperpolarized gas images showing the ventilation of a healthy volunteer and two COBD patients. However, to generate these images, we require a specialized laser polarizer to boost the MR spin magnetization of a noble gas, which acts as a contrast agent. The polarized gas is then transferred to a tether bag for the patient to inhale while wearing a custom-built radio frequency coil before being imaged in a multinuclear MRI scanner. CT ventilation imaging, or CTVI, aims to derive images of regional lung ventilation from multi-inflation CT, acquired without contrast or specialised equipment. These CT ventilation surrogate images are derived using an inspiratory and an expiratory CT image acquired during tidal breathing or breath hold. Deformable image registration is then conducted to ensure that both inflation levels are in the same spatial domain. We then apply a computational model to derive the surrogate ventilation images. Recent advances by Dr. Tahir and colleagues have shown that these CT ventilation models moderately correlate with hyperpolarized gas MRI. In this study, we assess whether deep learning based methods can significantly improve upon state-of-the-art CTVI methods. The dataset comprised of paired inspiratory and expiratory CT and hyperpolarized helium-3 gas MRI for 47 patients with either lung cancer, cystic fibrosis or asthma. Inspiratory and expiratory CT scans were aligned using deformable image registration and subsequently registered to the spatial domain of helium-3 MRI. CT-based surrogate ventilation images were computed from the aligned inspiratory and expiratory CT images using the Hounsfield unit change, or CTHU model-based metric. Here we can see the aligned images for a single case. In this study, we compare the conventional CTHU model with a novel deep learning model that we developed using multi-inflation CT as inputs and hyperpolarized gas MRI as a label to generate synthetic hyperpolarized gas MR images. In addition, we also developed a novel hybrid model that integrates CT ventilation modeling and deep learning approaches. To do this, we leverage a VNet convolutional neural network with a root mean square error loss function and prelu activation. We employed six-fold cross-validation across all 47 patients, resulting in six separately trained CNN models each tested on a different test set of seven or eight patients. Here, we can see the results for three cases in the dataset, comparing the gold standard hyperpolarized gas MR ventilation images to synthetic ventilation images generated either by CTVI modeling or by deep learning approaches. Qualitatively, numerous examples of the CNN generated synthetic ventilation images accurately replicated ventilation defects in the hyperpolarized gas MRI scans. The hybrid model deep learning method generated the highest voxel-wise Spearman's row outperforming the CTHU model and all other DL methods for these three cases. Here, we summarize the descriptive statistics using Spearman's correlation and the mean square error. Quantitatively, the hybrid approach leveraging both the inspiratory and expiratory CTs along with the CTHU model as inputs to a CNN yielded statistically significant improvements over all of the deep learning approaches. Furthermore, this approach significantly outperformed the CT ventilation model. In conclusion, we demonstrate that leveraging the synergy between deep learning and CT ventilation modeling generates physiologically plausible synthetic ventilation scans across several diseases, indicating the potential of deep learning based regional lung function from routinely acquired CT scans without exogenous contrast. This has implications for several clinical applications such as functional lung avoidance radiotherapy.
I'd like to acknowledge everyone at Polaris and all of these great organizations here that made it possible to do this work. Special thanks to my supervisors, Dr. Bill Altahir and Professor Jim Wilde, and thanks to the MIDL organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Thank you all for listening.